Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be making some pomegranate juice but I'm going to add some limes from my lime tree for a little bit of variety. Let's take a look at what we do next. Well as you can see my friends I've peeled most of my pomegranates and I peeled one lime. I'll peel another and then we'll press some juice. So we got one large lime and one medium sized lime and eight pomegranates. Now for the pomegranates I'm going to cut out the bottom and the top and then peel it. Now to press some juice. we throw away this peeling. Now with fruit or only greens juice you line your cloth with a bamboo liner. These are organic bamboo liners that we have custom made from wild organic bamboo. So the first thing I'll do is put a large pomegranate in, fold the bamboo over in both directions, then fold the cloth over the bamboo and press it. Now you could flatten it a bit by hand, put it in the press, in the center, very important to center it left to right, center it front to back, then we'll get a container all the way back and back it off a little bit. Now the reason you back it off is you don't want your claws to slip apart. And once it gets going we'll advance it all the way. It's amazing how much juice comes out of a pomegranate. Now we'll back that off take the cloth, unfold it, and put in another pomegranate. Unfold the bamboo. Another pomegranate in. This time I'm going to put two small pomegranates and one of the limes. Press those together. As tight a package as you can make and again, if you choose to, you can flatten it a little bit, put it in the press, centered, left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, and turn on the and Once the juice starts flowing, we'll advance that all the way. Now you can see I'm using a large bowl. If I was using a smaller bowl, it would overshoot, and we don't want that to happen. Now there's the last of my pomegranates. Well, I can see I need to replace this in the center more. Let's do that again. Now as long as you have a steady stream, you can leave the press up. Now it's going droplets. When you have droplets, back it off. Now what I'm going to do with all of my spent pulp, just to see if there's any more pomegranate juice in there, is I'm going to roll this um, already pressed pulp into a tight ball and see if we can get any more juice out of this already pressed pulp. Make it as tight a ball as we can. And this has got all of the pomegranate and the limes in it. Okay. Now let's see how much more we get. Now this time I'm going to use a measuring beaker to see how much more juice we can get. Make sure that's centered in both directions. Well I think that's a significant amount, two more ounces. Roll the 
that into one more tight bowl and see if we can crank any more juice out of this. I just hate to throw the pulp away when there's a chance of more produce, more produce juice, and uh, your best nutrients are also in your last pressing. Now I'm going to tuck this underneath this time so that we can minimize slippage. Okay, let's see if we get any more juice out of this. Wow, amazing! Actually getting more juice out of that. Well, it goes to show you, repackaging your pulp and pressing again does lead to more produce. We got four more ounces out of the pulp that most people would have thrown away. Looks like four and a half ounces. I want to remind you again that most people forget to clean the upper plate. You would be surprised how filthy the upper plates were for juices that I've had in. And you want to clean the side plate as well. And then we're going to press the water out of the cloth and put it in the freezer. And into the freezer this will go. I keep all my fruit cloths in the freezer. This is my pomegranate cloth. Now we're going to fill the bottles. It looks like we got a good yield this time. Enough for three 14 ounce bottles. More like 15 ounces if we fill it to the top. And enough for a taste test. I'm going to fill these right to the top. Well my friends, now for a taste test. And it looks like we got a very good yield this time from almost a dozen pomegranates. Three bottles of 15 ounces when you fill them to the top. And let's do a taste test. Boy, that's delicious. Now pomegranate is generally a very bitter juice, but I can taste the limes in here. I think next time I might add one more lime. I had two limes this time. Next time it'll be three. Well, my friends, I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net. And my webpage is Whole Health Found. And if you'd like to improve your juicer with premium parts, give me a call or send me an email. You'll be glad you did. See you in the next video.